How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Butt Rising 4 once again. It's been a while since I've done a video on one of the new cars which have been added to Forza Horizon 4 and that's because I've started to stream it lately. Every single Thursday when we get one of the new cars I go live the minute they are released and we take a look at them live on stream which is what I did today. However this week's new car is so good and there's so many people asking how do you get it which surprises me because it's very easy. Today's video I'm going to show you how you can get this car, why you should get it and then we're gonna have a bit of a drive around, upgrade it, max it out, stuff like that. So the new car this week is this one right in front of me, the Zenvo TSR S. It's got a 6.2 litre V8 engine and you can only get it this week. So as long as you're watching this video, less than a week before it was released, you can still get this car. And this is how you do it. If you go to your festival playlist, you will see that usually the new cars are unlocked here through like 50% or through a seasonal championship. But however, the way that you get this car is through a new feature, which is here called Photo Challenge. And all you have to do is take a photo of any car at a certain location and it will give you the Zembo straight away. I've already done mine, but what you have to do is you have to take a photo of your car so any car in the game by the horizon stage and the horizon stage is right here this is where the festival is all you have to do is go around this corner and right in front of me is the horizon stage so drive your car to where i am just park up around here go into the normal photo mode take a normal photo make sure you have the stage in shot like that and I've already done it, so it's not shown up, but it will say, you have completed this, blah, 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 you've unlocked the Zembo. And that's it. It will give you the Zembo for free. Where it would usually take maybe an hour or so to unlock the new car, this week takes a couple of minutes, and that's how you do it. And one of the first things you've probably noticed is the wing on this thing moves about like crazy. Now I already have the car maxed out and it has 1,464 horsepower as you can see down below and it weighs 1,400 kilograms so it's got over a thousand brake horsepower per tonne. It's pretty mental. It seems to look good in every single colour. Black looks nice, grey looks nice, white looks nice and every single colour looks cool. That looks cool. That looks cool. Let's have a bit of a drive in it fully up, oh, already spun out, let's not watch that. Let's have a bit in a drive in it fully maxed out. It does pull some power, third and fourth gear are like really really... And it still handles really well as well, I don't know if that's because of the spoiler, but it does handle so smoothly even that... Oh, spun out a bit there. It goes around the corners so well. It seems to hit its top speed a bit too easily. Oh, look at the way the wing comes up. Now, I've not had a proper chance to listen to how this car sounds, so I'm going to shut up for a minute and just listen to the car sound. I'm going to go over to the tunnel and do it. Here we go. Let's have a listen. I've maxed it out, that's annoying. I need to change my final drive, I think. It seems to hit sort of a brick wall at about 250 miles an hour, which is slower than I thought it would be, to be honest. The acceleration is mental, but the top speed, not very impressive. And listen to that whine. Now, something that I noticed a lot of people saying, the first thing people were asking when we got this car was, can you break the wing off? Can you turn damage on and break the wing? I'm going to show you if it's possible or not. I've turned my damage on. I'm going reverse at full speed into a wall. Not well. That was probably good enough to break the wing off. And it didn't break off. We tried a lot on stream and we could not get the rear wing to fall off. So if you're watching this wondering if it falls off, it doesn't. And I'll prove it again now. Yeah, that wing would have been long gone. 
Who cares though, it is mentally fast through town. Now we did do one on stream, but I want to do sort of a proper drag build to see what proper times this will do on the drag strip, because it grips... It gri grips okay rear-wheel drive, but I feel like all-wheel drive with the right drag tune could be really good. Now, I didn't actually buy all of these when I tried it earlier, so this could be quite interesting. We've got all of that. We've got that. Upgrade 6,000 CR. Right, I've increased final drive. I've changed a few other tuning things. Let's see what this is like on the drag strip. As I said, this car is only available for one week from today, from Thursday, so... Oh god, that straight off the line. So get this while you can, because after this week, you cannot get it. And it's going to be one of the most sought-after cars, I reckon. Try it with launch control. Sixty miles an hour is so fast. It gets to 60 so fast, I'm going to have to time that and put it on the screen of how long it gets to 60. Meanwhile, let's go into a quick drag race. That's a good perspective. It's got basically the same amount of horsepower as a Bugatti, but it weighs half a ton less. That's a lot. Of, that's a low weight. Here we go. Right, don't stall. Don't stall. Lovely. Oh, that must be an Aventador Forza edition. That must be. That word that came off the line really quickly. 8.3 seconds. Right, I said I wanted to time the 0 to 60, didn't I? So let's have a look. I'd be prepared to say that that is closest to one of the fastest 0 to 60 times in the game. Although it says 1.4 seconds there. That's not actually what it does. That's never correct, so ignore that. But actually physically timing it properly. That's got to be one of the fastest in the game. Going to try out Joe's tune here. Joe is always the one to have their ch his tune up as soon as possible. Let's have a play in a quick race with Joe's tune to see what it's like. Here we go. What's this thing like against some other... Hyper type cars. It's got the grip off the line. Okay, just need to get a bit of a feel for it. This has got an all wheel drive swap on it because it's a uh, an S2 class tune. And it's Joe's, we all know Joe. It should glide through these corners, but everyone's in the way. Get out of the way. It should glide through here. Oh. I don't know if it's the wing helping it, but it handles so well. I'm, I'm braking more than I have to. <laughs> what a decent tune this is. It's not got the full amount of horsepower, but it doesn't need it. Get the back end out. I'm usually against all-wheel drive swapping cars like this that are rear-wheel drive stock, but... I did not expect this to be this good. I don't know what difficulty I'm on, but it's one of the highest ones, and it's absolutely smashing them. Especially around these corners. Round here, flat out. Round here, flat out. Flat out to the finish line, do we reckon? It just takes the corners so well. Wow, look how far in front we are from the main group. That is an awesome car but yeah as i was saying guys i recommend getting this car while you can just a little video basically telling you how to get it because i'm surprised at the amount of people that didn't know and a bit of an overview of how good it actually is i really do recommend getting this while you can look at it that is naughty you can only get this car for the next week so make sure to swipe its hand off while you can get it an antique collection as i said guys usually i live stream cars like this that are coming out and i did today so if you're interested in that make sure to keep an eye out every single thursday for my live streams on youtube of the new cars next thursday for example we'll be doing one but anyway ladies leave a like if you've enjoyed get this car while you can subscribe if you haven't already for more foot to rise and content i'll see you all later